What's up guys, this is The Roverman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to pick off where we off left off last time, this Westphalian force came within range of my stack defending Amsterdam and I am going to intercept them to force them to assault me. The idea being hopefully I can knock them back and then maybe this force here to the north or maybe even my garrison force might be able to move out and press into Westphalia. So let's fight. If you've got a good city, defending uh, forts with a good army and a good garrison is easy and doing it wherever possible. Um, if it's not to your advantage, sometimes it might be easier just to let them and let them raid. Um, if they were going to attack you, then you wouldn't have a chance to intercept them in the first place. They would just come straight towards you, um, I found. Well, I'm pretty sure that's true. But anyway, let's crack on. So we'll head. The enemy will try to smash Ooh. their way in with siege equipment. Let's just get rid of you. You do have quick lime because we are souped up. So they can deploy from over here and to the left. So what I would like, can I deploy? Nope, I cannot deploy defences, unfortunately. So I want to put... <laughs> can you have a pigeon? Is there a pigeon? No, not artillery yet. Um, so let's get my howitzers deployed in a rough position to support either breaches over here. I mean, I've got this breach, but they might breach either of these, or they might breach either of these. And then let's position this artillery unit here, who will be ready to fire with shrapnel shot. Let's get this unit holding in reserve. Roger's range, Marion's rangers, sorry, cannot deploy stakes, but they will get into the barracks. So then I have got an absolute truckload of elite infantry that is very, very good. Oh, and this section of the wall does not look healthy. Let's man it for now. And let's man the centre. Let's man this section of the wall. I like to focus on just the regular sections holding uh, with artillery on them. And then let's focus on... So in case they run around the side, these guys can shoot at them. Same with over here. And then the, the idea is this unit here above the gates, they can deal with any assaults to the bastions. And that leaves me with a solid number of infantry who are going to position themselves ready to fire upon the main... Uh, well, this, this existing breach, because I'd hope... And even then, I'm going to actually... No, no. I was thinking about whether or not I thin these lines down. Because I would like... I could put you near Continental Marines here. Sturdy. Put them on guard mode. Line infantry guards here. And these guys with this artillery blasting to the gap should be enough. And then these guys are going to be my uh, reserve. To make sure my artillery is on fire well, except for you. So they're mostly deployed over there, so these guys can... Firstly, immediate job is to stretch these guys down this direction, perpendicular to their artillery. So they are aiming at this section of wall. So I'm going to bring these chaps down immediately, because there's no point trying to fight that. May as well bring this unit over here. Had a run. Let's get some Continental Marines into this house. Let's get this unit over on the left to cover the gate, plus any assaults that might happen. Yep, they are dropping quick climb onto my walls, so I'm going to want to do this rapidly so let's get them with canister shot just repeatedly fire onto that section of the wall let's put my artillery over here let's 
like you guys need to shift it before uh, something terrible happens. And you guys need to take up firing positions. There we go. So these guys fire quick... Eh, they can't fire quick line, but they are all focusing on the enemy howitzers, which is good. Let's keep that going. Horse artillery is the big risk. Oh, that will be devastating. Absolutely devastating. Okay, let's not make you run across this field of fire. If they do make it into hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, then we'll be fine. Because my guys are elite. Get ready to set up my these units of line infantry into positions where they may be useful. These guys will block off that unit of artillery, but I will manage that. I know these guys were going to go up here and secure the gate, but yep, and they will continue to do so. Let's get you up there. More quick climb, um, but my good howitzers have made short work of it. Let's get them to focus on the other artillery. So, ah, more 12 pound howitzers. Focus on you. Oh, and there is a breach to the rear. Let's pull you back. Get my Continental Marines there ready. To be honest, let's move these guys into position. Because I do not want to lose that gatehouse easily. So let's run them there instead. Nope. So they can't really shoot because they're trying to assault everywhere at once. They're being picked at by my line infantry who have a superior position and are in a fortress. Ooh, that is a lot of troops lost over here, so let's not do that anymore. It's good job I've got such elite infantry. These late Continental Marines with their hats. Come on, stand up, line infantry guards. Fire at point blank range. There we go. How does my counter battery? How's my counter battery work going? Good to have knocked out one gun, but that needs to get better. So where's this quick climb going to come down? Onto my artillery covering the gap. It's fine. At least here, they're slightly side on. So they can still fire onto these troops. Let's engage these guys in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Halt fire. Okay, so they are trying to hit this section. Well, I don't know. I think they're trying to hit this unit of infantry. Bear infantry, Prince Jensberg infantry, which looks rather nice.
They're going to get absolutely shredded. Didn't even try to... Oh, wait. Turn this fire wheel on. Yeah, they're still focus firing this unit of artillery, which is completely fine. Still knocked out their not knocked out their guns. Here's another volley, so let's see how they get on with. Who are you? Prince Ludwig Ernst Dragoons. So let's get this unit of Continental Marines over here because they look like my guys are getting shot in the back. So there's a risk this line of unit may get to the walls. And this unit of militia is still getting shot to pieces. There you go. They are now picking away in my infantry, but their infantry is broken, so... Um, even though I'm not winning the infantry battle, the artillery battle... Can I hit them with anything else? So one of them can hit them with quicklime. The other will continue with a round shot. No, the other will actually hit another unit of, a unit of horse artillery. There we go. Actually, they're going to keep firing at the... Uh... Good, good. Here come my Continental Marines. 98th Regiment of Foot. Yeah, so once my Marines get out there, they're superior melee, so compared to line infantry, they've got plus four melee attack, plus two charge bonus. Defense is the same, but they have higher morale. There you go, so they are going to make a breach into this wall as well. Go, my marines! Semper Fi. So you've got a better target. So the cavalry is moving up. And what I want to do is do this. Let's get these knackered units up on the wall. No, let's not. So how goes the progress on the 24 the howitzers? Good, the howitzers are shattered. Good. So let's get people to fully transition to quick lime and start picking at their cavalry. This unit, because you've got the range, you keep focusing on their artillery. Building lost. Really? Because one guy's on it? Well, let's make one of my weak units run up there then. 
take it back. Prince Eisenberg is doing quite well. Continental Marines are doing well. My line infantry unit isn't. How are they doing? 42 men. If we can push these guys back, when these next troops storm the walls, they should be much simpler to destroy. Good old simple, just run back here and form square. So if the general, who is charging, comes through. They can do the business. And then just bring my general in position. General's charging first as well. Their infantry mage seek to go through the gate. There we go, that's my artillery finally kicking in. Hitting their infantry as well, that was a lot of infantry. No, don't shoot, don't shoot. Also run in here and toggle the square. So you can judge if you want. There's just two squares right next to you. Two of these guys. One might its cavalry. So let's get ready to turn on fire at will once they come through the gap. Yep, it's completely fine if they hit my artillery. They're a pretty knackered unit as it is. Oh, lots of point blank cannon fire. And the route. Turn on guard mode. Let's get these guys back into the main house. You've done your job. These guys haven't done anything. Two units of line infantry. Huh. Yeah, my weak unit of line infantry is starting to rout, which is fair enough. Continental Marines are going down quite quickly. Much quicker than I thought they would. Although that guy just got a right clobber in. Oh no, he fought back. This guy. Give him the old razzmatazz. Go razzmatazz. Halt. The, Sch the Schaumburg Lipper Buckerberg Jaegers. Good. Okay, now let's get this unit of line infantry up here. Because they are wavering. But whether or not they have the numbers to stick around. 85, 84, credit. Yeah, they are numbering me 2 to 1. Granted, my guys are better, but simply through attrition. Let's start making all of my artillery focus on focusing fire on other units. I oh, see they were f yeah, the artillery is routing. Dragoons that have dismounted, there's the von Meitzitz cavalry. Well, if they focus on the other artillery unit, getting the artillery to rout is the biggest thing usually for me. Once the artillery's gone, then... Let's 
see if I can get my three guys to mana cannon. <laughs> Bugged in the wall. Safest place for you, buddy. Let's make my 90th, 98th regiment of foot man some artillery. Because right now this is becoming a bit of an artillery slugfest, I'm going to speed up time to see what happens. Because as it is, I may as well just keep... Keep hitting their artillery. With my artillery. Yeah, you run out of range, so go back to round shot. And keep picking at the Jaegers. No, don't... Okay, good. Those are routing units. I thought those were guys, my guys following them off the wall. Yeah, I think once I've taken out their artillery, then they will have no, re no, no, no recourse but to actually try and attack me at the very least. If not, they'll just be perpetually uh, picked at by, our, by my artillery. So we've got Dragoons, Jaegers, unless I send my send my general out. So where is he? So let's hold fire with you. And the old controversial run out the general. Firstly, this unit with your quick climb. You, your round shot, hold fire, switch to quick climb. Someone bugged out. Yeah, there's a guy bugged in the wall over here. Good, the cavalry has deployed. Some of it has, at the very least. Quick lime, target, some cavalry, fire at will. If you man your gun. Oh good, lots of horses dying, I heard that. There we go, I've done exactly what was required. Get my artillery to focus on the Dragoons. Well then let's speed up time again. Because this is just going to be a bit uh, laborious and probably end up just being a couple of quick climb shots, and that's all they'll need. Routing, 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 routing. Full retreat by the enemy. Excellent. End battle. Heroic victory indeed. Well, he definitely wasn't the first testament. He did not hold back on his fiery judgment in the first testament. Cool. So I lost more men than I would like. Um, nearly a thousand, but I think that's mainly due to the, uh, the quick liming that happened. But I made them pay for it. Um, two to one. And they only have 500 men remaining in this army. Yeah, they've reinforced it, which is their prerogative. Um, but that means that the bulk of that force, or a significant portion of that force, is... <gasps> Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region okay, that are not currently on. being exploited. Development in these okay, areas. let's leave you for now. Let's get down to Egypt. Protestant mercenary. I have one in Egypt already. Let's get you on to Jerusalem. To be honest, the agent here could probably move on to Damascus. Oh, that army is more than adequate to defend against that. So I'm going to move this guy up here 
to try and block this army for now. Well, they got lots of howitzers. Um, and you maintain siege. Well, they siege to Baghdad. Because is that the Mamluks, Persia, Persia? Well, yeah, if I take this, then these armies disappear. And they cease to exist. Um, but they will. No, I'm not at war with Persia. This is excellent news. Nation destroyed, Crimean Carnate. Another Protestant missionary in Spain. Let's get you into Gibraltar. Um, a new nation arises, Bavaria. Oh yes, Bavaria. I can't do anything to help you, I'm pretty sure. Allied with Spain and France, probably two of the weakest major nations we've got in the game. Hey, Sweden, let's trade. Wow. Why so mad, bro? I can tell why Spain's angry, because it's neither we were Spain, now they're Italy. Rightio. So some of these Prussian armies have disappeared, seemingly. So one's down here. One's still in Brest, which I'm just kind of blockading. Mainly because I want to fight things that aren't Prussia for a bit. So you, yeah, you are replenishing. Let's go to Amsterdam. Oops, sorry, I punched my microphone stand. Let's replenish and then recruit another unit of line infantry. At the ready. This army ready. here. March. Embark. Forward so. for crown and then where do we want to drop them off? I think I want to keep pushing down here, so maybe sail them into into Izmir to push on to Ankara and threaten them. That might be a good option, I think. You're still replenishing. You're in good neck, but there's lots of armies nearby, so I want you to hold. And then let's get some good artillery, some elite infantry engineers, lots of blunderbuss shotgunners, not just yet. Construction report, lots of building in Egypt. Still recruiting my army here of just sepoys. So that's five sepoys. One, two, three. Two more I can get, or two more, two more infantry of some description, and no, there's not really a reason I'd get sepoys. Oh, let's get some howitzers. Drop some nasties on them. Military check: sheet lead cartridges. Good. And yeah, so on percussion cap, which gets me uh, rifleman scouts, which I'm definitely going to want to get involved because they look wicked. And then finally on to mass production, where recruitment of everything just gets even cheaper. Sir. So this army, I think. Hmm. Do I capture Hanover in the middle? Or do we press south towards Wurdenburg? Because I'm recruiting a new unit of line, but do I just want to recruit um, some more line anyway to sit in Amsterdam so I can get this army out and maybe squash into Flanders? I have lots of troops nearby, but I do want to keep up this pressure I've built up here. So I'm going to lay siege to Vienna. Get this garrison in. Are you building walls? You are. Good. You're building walls, but there's a significant enemy presence nearby, so you might be about to get attacked, as might you, Mr. Fortescue.
Let's see what happens there, though, I think. Let's take my navy, disembark the army. Push on to Ankara. Good. Fleet arrives. Oh, how could I forget you? So where do I want to put you? I think what I want to do is get you into um, Riga, which is a long old trip, and the game's uh, lagging quite severely now. But yeah, get them here, disembark them, and get them to lay siege to Hungary. That, I think, is my plan. So disembark the army under Peter Payne. And lay siege to Hungary. It also means that they, they can't support each other. Oh, I can't get there in just in time. But yes, and looking at the timer, I think it's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the defence of Amsterdam. And as you can see, we are making good progress and smashing into the enemy's soft underbelly. Laying siege to the Mamelukes, uh, to Baghdad, which might be able to knock them out the game. Got a force moving on Ankara. I'm moving up into the Prussian underbelly and establishing a land border with Bavaria, who might become my ally. Um, but I do have some sticky spots here in Sarajevo and Belgrade. But we'll see what happens then in the next part. I could invest, but I don't want them to be raided. So what I might do, actually, is take... Well, let's get these ships, fix them up, get this guy in his force and just raid the ship, raid and um, pirates the... Uh, Trade route. Yeah, I'm still uh, still holding this region with my marines. Good. Oh, and I also have. Ooh, right. Embark. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen this guy before, Leslie Oliver. Let's deploy them off the coast as well, so this army is not quite left so alone. And then get you on raiding duty too. Cool. Anyway, yes, definitely uh, looking at the timer now. That's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.